For station two, we're going to burn the magnesium. So when we burn it, we're adding oxygen to it. And when we're doing this, we want to be careful not to stare too much into it because it'll create a very, very bright light energy, as you can see there. And then once the magnesium has finished burning in air with the oxygen, we'll gently place it in the water glass. So here is our magnesium oxide. And as you can see, it's changed colors. It's kind of a whitish color. And if you can look at it, it's kind of like a brittle, very, very easily breakable. It's changed into our new substance. And earlier, I spoke about how it created a very bright light form of energy. And so you can determine if it was releasing heat or absorbing heat based on how it was releasing an energy form. Next, we're going to go ahead and add some water to this to do a new reaction. So I'll go ahead and carefully place a couple drops of water, and this is just plain water, to the substance we have made earlier. So when we mix metal oxides with water, it makes a metal hydroxide. And typically metal hydroxide are bases. And we can check to see if we have made a base by adding a little bit of a phenolphthalein solution. The phenolphthalein will turn pink if it is a base and it'll stay clear if we did not make a base. And yay, it turned pink. So we now know that we have made a new substance, the metal hydroxide, the base.